Hi, I'm Dan with DJ2 Motorsports, and inside this video we're going to talk about the relationship that torque has between the center of gravity and the roll center. Hi, and welcome back to the videos. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the relationship between the center of gravity and the roll center of the vehicle and how the distance between them creates more torque or force around your roll center. And this is an important concept to grasp because this will help you understand the forces that are affecting the vehicle as it's in a corner, which will help you set up your suspension. Now, an easy way to give an example of the force and torque that how this acts on your roll center is if we just take a look at a combination wrench and how we use it to loosen a bolt that'll give you a good idea because what we're doing is we're applying force to the end of the wrench and it creates a twist or torque around the pivot point which is the center of the bolt now if we're having a hard time loosening that bolt what we do is we get a longer wrench or a handle on the wrench or we end up putting a you know piece of pipe over the end of the wrench to create a longer handle now what this does is it increases the length of the moment arm and the moment arm is the distance between the pivot point and where it intersects the line of force at a right angle um, or the perpendicular distance between the pivot point and the line of force now let's tie that into how the forces affect the um, vehicle and instead of the pivot point being on the bolt then our pivot point on the vehicle would be our roll center and instead of the end of the wrench we have our center of gravity so the forces acting on the car are going through the center of gravity instead of like our hand on the wrench and then our pivot point once again is our roll center for the vehicle so as you can see we want that center of gravity height and or the distance between the center of gravity height and our roll center to be as short as possible to limit the forces that are coming in the corner and affecting our body roll by creating that torque on the roll center of our vehicle. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, make sure you leave a comment below and also get on our link down below this to join our contact list so when any new videos come out you don't miss them. And also make sure you can join us on Facebook and at Twitter. And thanks again and we'll see you inside the next video.